Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Just waiting for my guest to hop on. <laughs> Thank you. Thought I'd, you know, do a little something. Especially during the uh, lockdown. Can't get to my barber. <laughs> Gotta have a spare headpiece around. We're having some technical uh, IG issues. But um, I'm Orlana Darkins Jury. I'm Deputy Director for Kelly Straight Horn Theater. This is Down with ODD. I'm talking to, I will be talking to Chef Kevin Watson. Um, he's a celebrity chef here in the city of Pittsburgh. He has a new restaurant that he's opened. And um, IG was connecting him and somehow I lost him. So hopefully he tries again. So I'm letting you know because if I hang up, <laughs> I am, okay, let's see. This is him trying again. Everybody out there start praying. Are y'all joining me in prayer right now? There we go. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> how no, are I you? Everybody, I had everybody joining me in prayer. <laughs> <laughs> that we connect. So I just want to welcome everyone again. This is Down with OZD. Um, this is brought to you by KSC. In our city and in uh, the world. So I'm so excited today. I'm talking to Chef Kevin Watson, celebrity chef of the city. Welcome to Down with ODD. Hey, hey, Orlana, how are you? Good. And everyone, you know, let's give Chef Kevin some props because this is his first time <laughs> on IG Live. He did well. He had me nervous there for a second. <laughs> I did it. It was my first time I got on it, with your help. Yes, I'm glad we worked this out. So, Chef, we go we go back. Uh, the first time I met you, yeah. you uh, were the celebrity chef for Savoy. But prior to that, you were a private chef, or you still are, but you were a private chef for uh, a lot of the Steelers, a lot of the CEOs in the city of Pittsburgh, and you taught at one of the culinary schools. So kind of tell us a little bit about that. Um, okay, uh, I'll start with the culinary schools first. I... Um, I've been teaching since 2000, off and on. And I started at my alma mater, which was Pennsylvania Culinary, which was right downtown on Liberty. Everybody would see the chefs downtown and they had a big window. So I, I started there and then I, I, I left there in 2004 and I started doing catering. And in 2006, they asked me if I would come back. At that time, it was Le Cordon Bleu. The Cordon Bleu had bought Pennsylvania Culinary. And I stayed there for, for about another, actually I stayed there for about uh, three years, which I had the, then I got the offer to, uh, to uh, work at Savoy. Okay. So, so I, I, left, I left the culinary school to, to take on a position at Savoy. And then in between there, I've always done catering and I've, I've done some private chef work as well. Yep. So I've always had two or three jobs. Right. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yep. Got to um, hustle. Now, you're not originally from Pittsburgh, right? No, I'm from Erie. Okay. And um, so, and then you're no longer at the Savoy. You now have your own restaurant that you open. So how long were you at Savoy before you transitioned to being your own restaurant owner? Let's see. I was at Savoy from 2009 until 2000 and I think 15. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And, so and then so, so. Go ahead. Oh, so uh, so I, once once I once I left Savoy, I did some private chef work, and then I started a, a meal prep business with a friend of mine. It was called Core Meals, uh, or I joined him in a meal prep business, and. Um, so we did that for a couple of years, and then I, while I was doing meal prep, I've always done catering, but then I was working at the, the cafe at the Frick, the Frick Museum in, in Point Breeze, 
And then um, in 2000, this is 2020, in 2018, I was driving past a, a building in Ross Township on Babcock Boulevard, and there was a for sale sign or for lease sign. And I whipped my car around, went in the parking lot, got the number, um, called the realtor, saw the building, met the owner, and um, uh, I, she asked me what I thought of the building, and I said, I want it. I said, I want it. And um, that was 2018, uh -huh. and nothing happened. It just didn't, it didn't materialize. It wasn't the right time. So in 2019, I'm driving home, same way. I'm taking a shortcut, actually, to go home, and I drive past this building again, and now the sign is down. The sign's down. They refreshed the paint on the outside of the building. And I was like, oh, no, somebody got the, somebody got the restaurant. So I went next door. Right, actually, right next door to me is a beer distributor. So I went in there, and I asked them what was going on with the building, if they knew. And they said that uh, they think that someone's going to turn it into, like, a, a breakfast place. Mm -hmm. And then I said to myself, I'm going to drive past there every day until I see a car in a parking lot, and I'm going to go find out what's actually going on. So I did that for about a month and a half. I saw a car in a parking lot. It was actually one of the owners, uh, Miss Katina. So I asked her what was going on with the building. She said, I think I'm going to do breakfast. And I said, that sounds great. Um, uh, are you sure you want to do breakfast? <laughs> And she said, I'm not sure now that I, I saw you again. So long story short, I ended up, uh, uh, I'm here. I'm right. in the building. I have a restaurant. I opened uh, January 4th, um, January 4th of 2020, nine days after Christmas. So January 4th, you open, right? Now, before I go to my main questions, <laughs> you opened. First, tell us what kind of restaurant it is. And the name of it? Um, well, the name of it is Chef's Table, inspired by Kevin Watson. That's the full name, but we, we refer to it as Chef's Table. And um, the type of restaurant, it's, a, it's kind of like, a, it's an American eclectic. Um, we do food from all around the world, but we just put a twist on it. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Asian-inspired um, food. We had the Bon Mi sandwich on there with our own twist. Um, actually, I'm doing quesadillas today, strip quesadillas for Cinco de Mayo. I'm going to do them all week, but I'll put a little oh. twist on that. And then we have some American things. Sometimes we'll do like a grilled cheese series, and we'll do like a, a monster cheese with spinach and uh, a tomato chili dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. You know, so we just do common food, but we just put a twist on it. So you open in January. Um, yeah. And then, of course, here we are, COVID-19. So how did you make the adjustment? Or how are you adjusting? Um, it's been tough. Uh, it's been tough because you don't know, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know um, what it's going to look like when we open back up. You know, and I was kind of mapping that out a little bit yesterday. I was doing... Um, <laughs> six feet apart um, in the restaurant just to kind of see what the tables are going to look like, how many people are going to be here, what kind of shields uh, uh, are we going to hang? Do we put a shield on the table uh, between the person sitting on this side of the table and the person sitting on the other side of the table? So it's just been, you know, not knowing what's going to happen is um, – I won't say it's not, it's not scary, but it's just, you just don't know. You don't know what it's going to look like. Yeah. And for those joining, uh, this is Down with ODD. I'm Orlana Dark and Drury. I'm talking to Chef Kevin Watson, the owner of The Chef's Table, inspired by Kevin Watson. Um, it's on Babcock Boulevard, right? That's right. right. 2193 Babcock. So right now, are you doing takeout? Or are you doing delivery? How are you uh, operating in this gap, in this transition? Well, we're, we're doing uh, curbside pickup and uh, takeout. People can come in to the very front of the, they come into the very front of the restaurant and pick up their food. They can also, we also take payment over the phone. Okay. Um, and I know you 
gave this to me the sample is it also in the menu? you <laughs> you made me um sausage gravy over a biscuit yes that was actually part of our brunch um we make everything from scratch so um I made some sausage gravy. I, I, I did that for you. I made some sausage gravy and biscuit. And was there anything else in there or was that it? I think that was it. That was it. That was, but, um, that was a hearty biscuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they're big. They're big. But but we have a we have a brunch that we're not we're not doing right now for obvious reasons. We can't do brunch, but um we're looking forward to uh having people back in the restaurant and putting some tables out front. Now, and I'm not sure if you're still in doing this. I know when you opened a restaurant, you were doing a buy a meal, give a meal program. Yes, we are still we are still participating in that. When we would like folks to, if they if they can, to contribute to the the buy a meal, give a meal program. So how how yeah. does it work? Do I like do I buy a meal or do I just give a donation? Well, we have a we have a GoFundMe page, and I know times are tough right now for everybody. Well, we have a GoFundMe page that people were contributing to, and then we also, uh, you can come in and make a donation, and those meals will go to uh, our Shunnin Seniors. The money to, for that goes into Shunnin Seniors. And we actually, we did it the very first, the very first week uh, when we got the notice that we're going to shut down. Uh -huh. I remember it was, a, it was a Friday, the following week, um, a friend of mine, Lachelle, she works with senior citizens. So she came in and we gave her, we packed up like seven or eight meals for, for her senior citizens where she works. Nice, nice. Now, yeah. what's the website? Is it, well, I'll let you say it. <laughs> what's the website? The website, the website is chefstablepgh.com. Okay, so chefstablepgh.com. I can go on yes. there today and place a order, pay for it, and then pick it up? Yes? Uh, I'm sorry. I had a call coming in. But no, um, we, we, um, you can't pay, you can't pay online. But if you call in, we can take a payment okay. on the POS system. Okay, I got you. Okay. Um, so um, you make American food, with, well, you make food from all over with a little chef kevin watson twist to it um you mentioned before this call um that you are debuting a new chef orlando i just lost the volume i don't know what happened can you hear me can you hear me can you hear me uh -huh. i can't hear you uh-oh this isn't good everybody should i try to come back i don't know maybe move somewhere else <laughs> you're all the way up i can't hear you um, you could try to come back. Okay, I'll 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 come back. I'll All request right. again. All right, I'll right be right back. back. All right, don't go done. don't All go right. anywhere. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, I stay on. All right. So this has never happened to me before. So hopefully, okay, good, good. Okay, it's this thing. All right. Oh, right. Thank you. Yes, this is an intermission. Yes, this is Kelly Strayhorn Theater. So we're going to take a brief intermission while Chef Kevin Watson comes back. Um, but so you do know, again, it's chefstablepgh.com. So you can look at the menu, the uh, phone number to the restaurants on there. So you can place your food order um, by phone and they have curbside service. So let's see if we can get them back. Okay. All right. That was my first intermission. Hey. Hey. <laughs> See, there's a lot of firsts. Yeah, I was That's like, my, I've never had first. that happen to me before. And my first, so I've, uh, uh, so we are going to, we should be live today with online ordering and payment. Oh, okay. I just, yeah. Great. All right. So we learned something during that intermission. Great. All right. Perfect. 
And then you mentioned before this call that you are also, because I know you do a lot with training chefs. Um, you're bringing on a new chef there to help you at the chef's table? Well, yeah, I have a chef here. His name is Jay Wallace. And um, he was uh, my sous chef and my, per my protege when I was at the Frick. Okay. And um, now he's, he's, he's the chef here at chef's table. So he and I are kind of running things and doing things. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you to him right now. Jay, say, say hi to the people. This is Jay Wallace. Hello, hello. How you doing? Hey, Jay Wallace. We heard that you're putting it down there at the chef's table. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little shy. This is catch me off guard. I apologize. Um, I, I, I'm no good at this. I, I, I'm, I'm old school. Um, I love being here at chef's table. Yes, ma'am. I, I love working with this man. Um, I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity. Um, and uh, it's a blessing to still have a job during these times, too. So right. I'm blessed to still have a job and uh, just got to make the best of it. So good food, working with a great person. So I'm blessed. Well, you have uh, someone, you have Christopher saying, nice to meet you. So we're all happy to meet you. And we uh, can't wait to taste some of the delicious food that you and Chef Kevin will be providing at the chef's table. So thank you for saying hi to us. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Chef, so we're going to wrap this up. I just want to make sure everyone has their information. So the website is chefstablepgh.com. And Correct. you said starting today, people... Today, it should, be, it should be live and active today at the end of the day. So probably tomorrow, live okay. and active at the end of the day to go on to the uh, chefstablepgh.com order off the menu and pay from there. Nice. But right now the, the website is live so we can look at all your offerings. We can call, place our order, pay over the phone and do curbside pickup. Right. And, and, and right now the, the menu, it, it's a little bit limited because you can't keep everything fresh. Oh, right. I just came back. I just came back from the strip shopping because I want to hand pick it's, from being a private chef, handpicked the green beans by hand. I handpicked the, the 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 lettuces by hand and the seafood by hand. So the menu doesn't reflect what we started out with, just because we're at I don't know twenty percent of our business. So, but it still tastes good. <laughs> but it's not it's not it's not, it's not what we started out with. All right, and to give the address again, it's twenty one ninety three Babcock Boulevard. That's correct. 2193 Babcock Boulevard in Ross Township. It's probably maybe a half mile off of McKnight Road. Yeah, it's not bad. And then what are your hours? What, what, what time do you open? What time do you close? Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, we are uh, 2 to 7. We have limited hours. This week, and today is the cutoff for it, but we're offering a Mother's Day uh, dinner special where we do a whole roasted chicken in that brick oven right behind me. We're going to roast chickens, roast chickens in there with four pieces of salmon, asparagus, roasted potatoes, a green salad, some rolls, uh, mango salsa. So we're offering that today for Mother's Day, this Sunday, but the pickup is on Saturday. So if you're interested in that, it's on the web, should be on the website as well. Um, what about if you just want that for yourself? You can get that for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can make that happen <laughs> we can make it happen might want that for myself uh first of all i want to shout out christopher again he's on it man he posted your website and the phone number so thank you christopher thank you christopher <laughs> for your support so chef kevin watson thank you so much for uh joining me today alana you're welcome and thank you and, and i got a surprise for you I have a little bit of that that salt that you always ask me about. Oh so I, I got next time I, next time we meet, I'll I'll hook you up. Wait 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 oh, wait wait wait. <laughs> you can't go now. <laughs> so do you currently make it? So we got to tell everybody what you're talking about. You made your own seasoning. Right. I have a seasoning salt. It's called it's called flavor, and we we put it on everything uh, here at the restaurant. 
uh, except for cereal. You know, you could you could put it on anything. But um, we make it here at the restaurant, and hopefully, once this COVID nineteen gets past us and beyond us, and uh, we'll, we're going to be offering that to purchase here at the chef's table as well. Nice. But I got I got a little I got a little stash for you. Let me tell y'all <laughs> his seasoning flavor. It's delicious. Like it real the name is the perfect name because it really enhances the flavor of of anything that you cook besides cereal. But <laughs> anything that you cook it really does enhance the flavor. So, yes, I can't wait to get my little <laughs> So once again, thank you so much for taking time out. I want to keep you from the uh, the restaurant, but everyone, I've been talking to Chef Kevin Watson. He's the owner of the Chef's Table. It is 2193 Babcock Boulevard. Check out his website, chefstablepgh.com. And, uh, you know, he's doing a curb, curbside pickup. Um, the curbside pickup. Dishes. Um, so make sure you support, especially during these times. So thank you so much, and, and thank you, everyone who joined us. Yes, thank you, everybody. And the phone number is 412-821-8100. That's easy to remember, 412-821-8100. Chef Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you, Orlana. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.